<laughs> Did I scare you? Good morning. It is uh, Wednesday, October 31st. It's Lisa Copeland with 15 Minutes Alive and better known as Halloween. Oh my goodness. I got to tell y'all, Halloween is not a, a holiday that we do big in my house. We never have. I don't know why that is. So this is about the only costume we're going to get from me today. Um, but I am going to go uh, hang out with my two grandsons tonight because one's going to be a puppy and one's going to be a Skylander. So I'd much rather see their cute little faces. Nigel, good morning. And Paul and Laura and Melissa and Natalie and Janelle and Gina and Iona and Ari and Melissa and Tracy and Janelle and Scott. Oh my gosh, good morning. Well, happy Halloween to those of you that um, celebrate today and dress up and and just, you know, it's that one day that people like to, like, you know, go to work dressed up and do something amazing. So talking about good morning, Frank Lopes, boo, back to you. Um, so I'm going to talk about something that I did yesterday that was the, uh, I can tell you, in my speaking slash whatever career, it was the scariest thing I ever did. Now, the biggest TV thing I did was back in the, in the car business when, um, after we broke the world sales record and my agent called and he said, hey, CC Television, CCTV wants you to come in the studio and do a show. Well, they are 1 billion with a B, 1 billion uh, viewers worldwide. Huge deal. Aaron, good morning. Anthony, hello, my friend. Robin, hello. Ginger, hello. We're talking about the scariest thing I think I ever did yesterday besides... Besides doing CC television back in 2014, talking about the state of the lack of women in the automotive industry, and it went out worldwide to over a billion people. That was pretty scary, but at least I was in the studio and they, you know, they edited it and, and I had somebody coming in from London and talking to me. Anyways, it wasn't, it wasn't that terrifying. Yesterday, I jumped out of my comfort zone. And just so you know, I should have done it on Monday. When somebody, Naomi and Kimberly, when somebody offers you to take over, do a takeover of their Instagram account, and they've got 1.2 million followers, I'm going to give you some advice, everybody. Don't wait 24 hours, but I did. I have never done an Instagram Live. Dina, good morning, Michael, Michelle, Kimberly, Naomi, Nigel. So anyways, so I, I didn't do it on Monday. It's Sean Thomas's account, Ask a Millionaire. And he said, Lisa, I want you to jump in and I want you to do a takeover. And I want you to start building your audience within my audience of his 1.2 million highly, highly, highly engaged IG followers. So I didn't want to act like I wasn't cool. And if Sean's watching this today, it will be, um, yeah, I'll be kind of a little bit horrified. But so I, I'm on Google. I'm like, okay, which way do you place your camera on the this because you know you can't do it on your computer i'm like do you do it this way do you do it this way and i'm telling you this story to tell you there are times in life you got to jump in and i didn't want to tell sean uh i've never done one before although he now knows that now janelle good morning uh nigel laura how are you can you post a link to the instagram live yes i think it only lasts 24 hours but i did it at four o'clock yesterday so there are times in life when you get offered you get served up an opportunity like an Instagram takeover of a celebrity page. And um, you know, and, and Sean has put years and a lot of money and influence behind this Ask a Millionaire page. And he and I become really good friends and colleagues. And we work together on some projects um, because social media is absolutely, I don't want to say the last frontier, but it's the most important frontier right now. If you're out there trying to build a, a brand, a business, sell a service, whatever, um, Hi, Michelle. How are you? Um, so anyways, I thought, okay, I'm going to do it. And he's gone all week. And he's like, I want you to go live every single day. So y'all, finally, I did it yesterday. I found some excuse not to do it on Monday. And I'm like, okay, this, I have to do this. Like I told him I would. And so I, I even posted it in Big Sellers. If you're not a member of Big Sellers yet, jump in, Max and Ari. She goes, I need to watch this live. Ari, I don't know if you need to. Maybe maybe watch today's live. I won't be so terrified. Y'all, okay, so I consider Facebook like this group. I consider you guys like family. We're friends. We talk on Facebook. We follow each other's lives, whatever. Instagram live is much more like being on CC television when I was on with one billion with a B watchers in a major studio. Um, 
but I wasn't even scared with that because I wasn't having to fire back and answer right away. So the whole premise of Sean's Ask a Millionaire is that his tribe, his 1.2 million followers who are highly engaged, I might add, um, they get to ask questions of a millionaire and ask entrepreneurial questions. Now, I told my husband last night when he got home, I said, and, but just so you know, I got like seven, seven uh, marriage proposals from Mumbai, from India, from Bali, from South Africa. I'm like, say, so you better be nice to me because I got some fans out there around the world now. Um, but for the most part, it's very engaged and they've got really great questions. And what's interesting, there was a lot of young people who said to me, you know, I'm 19 years old and I, I've got a great idea and, and I don't have the money to start a company. What would you do? Or I've got a million dollar idea. I took it to an attorney in a bank and they said, no, what would you do? I mean, the questions were insane. And it's like, you've got to be ready for people to fire at you. Y'all, it was the craziest thing. Anthony, yes, we are family. Frank Lopes is your older brother. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, he is. <laughs> Good morning, Robin Hart, Janelle. Um, sometimes we just shouldn't hesitate and jump in with both feet. And so that's what I wanted to encourage you guys about today. Two things, two things. Number one, you guys know that Think and Grow Rich is the book that I'm reading and digging back into. And, you know, Napoleon Hill talks about, you know, not having a scarcity mentality, meaning having an, a, a mentality of abundance. And so I want to do a shout out to Sean Thomas, for those of you Instagram followers, go go follow him on Ask a Millionaire. See, you know, celebrities pay big money to be able to take over a celebrity account. And he is considered a celebrity verified account. To take over, take over meaning go on as the host or as the person. I mean, people and companies will pay tens and thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars to be able to have that audience for an hour, like what I had. But you know what Sean said? Sean's like, you're working really hard and I want to see your business blow up and I want to see you build this platform you're trying to build. So he's like, here's my login, guard it with your life um, and go live, go out and build my, and, you know, bring your tribe over or excuse me, bring my tribe over to your tribe. Okay. That is a huge, huge, huge abundance mentality. Um, so cherish, need that book. Oh, okay. I'm not sure which book you're talking about, either Outwitting the Devil or Crushing Mediocrity. Uh, Rich, good morning. Uh, Michelle, good morning. So, you know, so those are the things that you, I want you guys to think about. Number one is when opportunity knocks, you never know when it's going to knock. Okay. He, he texted me on a Sunday and said, Hey, I want you to take over my IG account next week. Every day. I need you to be on there every day. And I need you talking to my tribe. I want you to talk about sales and about business and about what it takes to be a millionaire. And you know, all the things that you, know, he and I work on together on other platforms. Um, and, um, and, and I want you to be sure to pin your IG account to the top in comments so that people know where to follow you. Y'all, I could not figure out how to pin that damn thing. And thank you, Ken Walls. I don't know if you're on this morning or not, but Ken Walls jumped on and he was like writing my IG account the whole time. But, but what it taught me yesterday, number one is that Sean Thomas rocks. Number two, that he's got an abundance mentality. He isn't worried about me picking off his tribe. His tribe's not going anywhere. All I did yesterday, I'm not sure if I did it, but I tried really hard, was added value to his group. So are we adding value to each other and to our businesses where we don't have that mentality that, oh, I've got to compete with you. I've got to do this. So think about that. Uh, Janelle, um, lucky, lucky book winner. Um, Anthony, Debbie. So I want to hear, like, what are you going to do? And then, and then number two from this, right? Opportunity sometimes doesn't knock twice. And when I didn't jump on Monday, it was 100% fear, 100% fear. I didn't even know what direction to put my phone on the on the tripod because I do this from my computer, obviously. And so I was like, okay. And then I thought, oh my God, 1.2 million people of a highly engaged group. What if I don't answer right? What if they start blowing me up? And in the beginning, y'all, it was a little scary because a couple people were like, where's that guy? Where's Sean today? And I'm like, oh no, please do not tell me. 1.2 million people are going to tell me, get off. We want him back, right? I think I warmed up the audience um, after my three minutes of terror, the first three minutes of not even knowing how to pin a post. But, but what it did for me today is I'm going back live at four o'clock Central Standard Time. And now I know what to do. I know what the landscape is, right? Um, Eileen says it makes sense. Uh, Nigel says Sean Thomas is an amazing man. Well, Nigel, that's how I met you with Sean Thomas. 
Um, Janelle says, hee hee, thank you very much. So good morning, Sean Weatherby. Um, but that is it. So the first time is terrifying, pure terror. I'm telling you that right now. The second time today, I'm like, okay, I know the landscape now. I know what I need to do. Doesn't mean I'm going to like not have butterflies in my stomach doing it. Because yeah, it's to have that many people kind of coming at you at one time and asking really good, really good questions about business and about being an entrepreneur and about selling and about how to make your first million and all of the above. And um, but it's live. Like you don't have rooms, room, <laughs> you don't have rooms to make mistakes. You don't have room to make mistakes. So that is my um, good morning, Lisa Walker, Dr. Lisa Walker. If you don't follow her, you should. Um, so that was my crazy um, out of the box, out of my comfort zone thing from yesterday. So yesterday, both of the Lisas, um, Lisa Filter, Lisa Filter and Lisa Kennedy won the Be a Queen shirts. And I swear, y'all, I didn't pick the winners on the dot. Woman did. And I was like, they're going to think this is a conspiracy. So thank you and congratulations to both of, both of my gals out there. Sandra uh, says, you need to be uncomfortable sometimes. It makes you better. You know, Sandra, I learned that from your brother, who's a very, very dear friend of mine. I, I talk to him probably a couple times a day. But, you know, he pushes me un to uncomfortable a lot of times to be better at what I do. But yesterday in the record books was probably the most uncomfortable I have been in front of a camera my whole life, but I did it. So for most of you out there and you're thinking about, do I need to take this step in business? Do I need to make that phone call? Do I need to ask for the business? Do I need to try to close the sale? Do I need to try to follow up? Just do it. Just do it. Get in front of that camera like I did and screw the whole thing up for the first three minutes. It's okay, because the other thing I figured out is that audience got pretty forgiving really quickly. They weren't, no, they're no longer saying, where's that Sean guy? They're going um, from India and Bali, you know, are you, do you want to get married? <laughs> it was awesome. And for every one of those, I had 17 really well thought out business questions. So, and I swear to you, this is the last one. So don't, don't think I'm coming back, but I had to save one spooky little thing for Halloween. And Sharon gave me one more autographed Outwitting the Devil book. I thought, I gotta save it for Halloween. It's the perfect giveaway. So I'm throwing a, t a twist in it this time. Um, you've gotta share the show twice today. So share it, like it, love it, comment, which you guys are the best ever. Mwah, I love you for that. And then I'm going to post my Instagram account. And if you, you have to follow me and I will follow you. And if for some reason that you're already following me, then I'm going just just put it out there that you know that you like. Just 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 put a comment on my IG account, and then that way you will be entered into the drawing for the last. I promise you, the last outwitting the devil, autographed by the amazing Sharon Lecter herself. But I mean, talk about the ultimate book about how to get over and face.